Hello, welcome everyone. It's another Player of the Week review, December 12, 2024. Let's, then let's jump into it. Okay, so first impressions. We've, we have a decent looking pack. We've got Missyala, Griezmann, Guller, Sancho, the, the highest rated players in this pack. Um, you've got a couple of centre backs in M Miklen Kovic, uh, Yoshida, and you've got a goalkeeper, a four star goalkeeper. There's only one four star player in this pack. Um, but yeah, the best four in this pack look like to be Musiala, Griezmann, Sancho, Gula. Although Mikatarian is, a, is a, a booster in this pack, the, fir the third booster in this pack. Um, he looks pretty interesting, so let's jump in to the player of the week review. So first off, we've got Donovan Leon from Oxair, a defensive goalkeeper. Does he have his face scan? Yes, he does. French goalkeeper. Let's look at his stats. Okay, so he's got goalkeeping awareness 89, goalkeeping catching 81, parrying 82, reflexes 89, reach 89. Not bad, not bad goalkeeper, decent stats with a decent, good manager. It'll, it'll go, some of those stats, those 89 stats will go into the 90s. Let's look at his player skills, he's only got low punt and high punt. It would have been nice if he had goalkeeper pens, uh, penalty saver as well but it's not bad you know pretty average goalkeeper and he's on form this week so if you get him if you don't have a goalkeeper it'll be decent to have but like it's like most goalkeepers in this this player of the week packs is not you know it's pretty average and it's not gonna you're not gonna compete against the checks and you know there's pay to play cards like Czech and Schmeichel and all that but so it's pretty average it's not bad to have though if you don't have a goalkeeper next up we have Maya Yoshida he had a good week he, they, he won the MLS Cup with LA Galaxy he's um, LA Galaxy's captain if I believe there's his place uh, there's his face scan They won. They won two one in the in the MLS Cup. I haven't seen uh, the goals yet, but apparently he, he must have had a good game to be in this team of the week. Uh, let's have a look into his stats: defensive awareness ninety, tackling eighty eight, aggression eighty five, defensive engagement eighty four. Um, it, it's not bad. I would have liked his aggression to be a bit higher. Because speed seventy five and acceleration seventy two is a bit low, but he is thirty six now and he's got getting on a bit. And he's probably in realistically in real life isn't that fast anyway. Jump eighty three, heading eighty, physical contact eighty five, stamina eighty. Uh, okay, he can only play centre back. Let's look at his playing skills. Heading, man marking, interception, blocking, aerial superiority, sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance, captaincy is the captain, and fighting spirit. So you got all the skills you need for a defender. So skill wise, it's very good. Uh, stats wise, it's what you expect, really. It's, it's okay. Uh, I would have liked his jumping to be a bit higher. Um, and heading to be a bit higher to compete if you're going to compete against the Hulits and the Van Bastens in this eFootball world but so he's, he's pretty okay next up we've got Gustav Isaacson he doesn't have a face scan yet they got to get that sorted Konami he yeah, doesn't have a face um yeah, he plays for Lazio. He scored the winner against Napoli last Sunday. I watched that match. He scored the goal on the counter-attack. 
Let's have a look at his skills, um, his stats. He's a whole player, right midfielder. He can play left wing forward and right wing forward. His, his dribbling stats are pretty good. Ball control, 85, 80, dribbling 86, tight possession 83. But his main asset is his speed and acceleration. 89 speed, 91 acceleration. Yeah, I mean, apart from that, it's pretty average. Finishing only goes up to 78. Low passing only 72. So it's not that good. I mean, I mean, he's okay. It's pretty average, really, for a winger. There's so many better wingers in this game. But let's look at his player skills. He's got double touch, great, and he's got a variety of other skills, which, which are very useful for a, a winger. He doesn't have pinpoint crossing, but that's fine. He's got through passing, which is, um pretty good as well and super sub super sub is it so even if you might not get in your team to bring him off the bench a form gustav isaacson will be very good no face scan put puts me off a bit but konami should should make in the next update should put you know put his face but yeah it's okay next we got next up we have el shawari from roma He's 32 now, seems like he's been around for ages. There's his player face scan, deep line forward. He can play in a variety of positions in attack. He can play everywhere in attack, left wing, right wing, centre forward, support striker, left midfield, right midfield. And stats wise, um, he's pretty good, pretty good all round attacking player. Finishing is 83. Uh, again, speed and acceleration of his main strengths. Um, it's pretty okay. And skills, the double touch, excellent. Long range shooting, long range curler, through passing. And another one of a super sub, so they may not start for your team. If you've got a great team already, they may not start, but you might want to try him as a super sub. Next, Mkhitaryan. He had a great game the other day for Inter Milan. I believe he's set up to. Well, I, actually, I did see the goals. He's set up to in Inter Milan's 3-1 win against Parma. He's 35 now. There's his player's face scan. He's been around for a while now. He's still going strong. He's one. Of, he's been one of uh, Inter's best players of, in recent weeks. And he's the first booster in this pack. So let's let's turn on the booster, see what it looks like, see what his stats look like. There you go. Lofted pass 90 sticks out. Kicking power 89 sticks out. Finishing is only 74. I think our previous cards is finishing has, has been a bit higher. But it looks like a very good card all around. Dribbling and passing. His dribbling and passing stats are pretty good. And look at where he can play. He can play everywhere. Everywhere apart from centre forward and defensive midfield. So he's a good all-round attacking player. Uh, he's box to box. And yeah, he's got great stamina, 87. With, with a decent manager, I'll probably go to 90 as well. Let's look at his skills, playing skills. Yep. He's, he's got a good variety of skills of passing, free passing, one touch passing, which is important. Low lofted pass. He doesn't have pinpoint crossing, but and he doesn't have double touch as well, which is disappointing. But yeah, I mean he's got interception as well, so he can he can play everywhere. I mean he'll be a good card to have. Next up, we've got Martin Darun. From Atalanta, they beat AC Milan last Friday, 2-1. There's his player face scan. He was one of their best players in that match last week. Lukman scored the winner, but uh, yeah, here he is, 33 years old. He can play defensive midfield, centre midfield, and centre back. His player stats. 
are pretty good all around as well. Nothing really stands out the most though, that's the thing. Um, stamina 88, but he's got good defensive stats, good uh, passing stats. I mean, he looks like a pretty good all rounder. Physical contact, he's got 84, it's not bad. So, I mean, he doesn't look sp anything special, exceptional in anything, but just a good all round midfielder, defensive midfielder. Let's look at his player skills, and the player skills reflect his stats. He's a good, good all round skills. One touch passing, through passing, he's got intercepting, blocker, sliding tackle, captaincy, fighting spirit. Track back. So it's a decent player, decent defensive midfielder. Next up, we've got Nikola Milankovic, the Nottingham Forest centre back. Yes, he scored against United, sadly for Man United fans, but for Nottingham Forest fans, he's, he scored a great header from a corner. There's his face scan. Height 195, weight 92. He's a beast. Uh, let's have a closer look at his player stats. Yep. Defensive awareness 88, tackling 87, aggression 85. Those stats stand out the most as well. He's jumping is 87 and heading 87, which is great. With a with a good manage with a manager boost, it'll probably go, it'll probably go up to ninety as well. Physical contact eighty eight. So yeah, I mean he's a beast. He'll be a beast in set pieces and crosses. He'll win a lot of headers, I believe, because of the jumping and the heading. Let's look at it. He can play right back as well, but he'll be a bit too slow for right back, I reckon, because he's only got sixty nine acceleration, seventy four speed, balance. As usual with this player of the week pack cards is pretty low for in general it's low this is ridiculous low really low it's 59 so it'll be a bit awkward to play at right back let's look at his player skills heading long throw interesting man marking interception blocker aerial superiority sliding tackle fighting spirit he's got all the stats he's got all the skills you need for a defender Next up, you've got the second booster player in the pack is Jaden, former United player, Jaden Sancho. There's his face scan. He had a decent game against for Chelsea against Tottenham in the, over the weekend. He was one of their better players. The, the Cole Palmer, I reckon, was their player of the match, but it's nice to see a different player get into the player of the pack we've had a lot of Cole Palmers in the past year he would have been deserved um, choice but Sancho was next best let's look at his play oh, he, let's see, look at his player stats with the booster on dribbling and speed stand out the most dribbling tight possession speed acceleration balance excellent you can play left wing right wing left midfield right midfield form wise look at that it's inconsistent but this week with rating a if you have him you can you can use him every game you don't have to worry about his form um, after that you can worry about it afterwards let's look at his player skills He's got double touch, flip flap, flip flap and soul control. So that means he's got the ball roll, advanced double touch, level three double touch, whatever you want to call it. His other skills, he's got cut behind turn, long range curler, long range shooting, heel trick, one touch passing, pinpoint crossing and outside curler. So he's got a great skills for a winger. Next up. You got Antoine Griezmann. Okay, we've had a few play of the week review, a uh, play of the week Griezmanns over the past year. 
I'm not sure if this is the the best one, if the best one, but it's that it's got to be up there. He's a striker, the centre forward. He's got his player face scan. There he is, with those long, flowing blonde locks. He's 33 now. It's been a while. He's been around for a while. He can play anywhere in attack: left wing forward, right wing forward, centre forward, support striker, attacking midfield. I think his best position with this in this card is centre forward. Let's look at his stats with the booster effect on. There you have it. Attacking awareness 91, ball control 90, finishing exceptional 90. So yeah, I mean he would be one of he'll he, personally he will be one of my first picks in this pack if you get him try him out uh, let's look at his player skills double touch rising shot finish acrobatic finishing heel trick first time shot which is good for a striker you need that first time shot one touch passing through passing pinpoint crossing outside curler and track back track back for center forward I'm not too keen on but apart from that it's got most of the forward actually good forward skills to have acrobatic finishing first time shot it's a must have so yeah there's the goal poacher Griezmann next up we have Real Madrid's Arda Gola oh yeah Griezmann scored two goals over the weekend the second one was uh, I think it was an injury time winner so yeah, he's well deserved to be in the player of the week pack. This week, next up we got Adagola for Real Madrid. There's his player skill, there's his face scan. Yep, and his stats, dribbling stats and acceleration stand up the most. He can play right wing forward, right midfield. Attacking midfield and centre midfield. He's a whole player. His finishing is a bit low for me. 78. Um, but apart from that, pretty good all round. Dribbler. Let's see if he's got good dribbling skills. Yes, he's got double touch and soul control. No flip flap. But he's got, uh, he's got other skills like passing skills one touch pass through passing pinpoint crossing so me personally i would play him on right midfield or right wing for a attacking midfielder his finishing isn't as high as i would have liked he's only 78 but it seems like a good player to fun player to use because he's got double touch one touch pass um, yeah, the next up, the last player in the pack, you've got Jamal Musiala. I think he scored two over the weekend for Bayern. There's his player face scan. Now, this, we've had a few Musiala's player of the weeks in the past couple of years. This might be the first centre forward Musiala. I'm not sure. Might be the first centre forward and goal poacher. Uh, look at the positions he can play in. He can play all over the attack. Centre forward, support striker, left wing forward, left midfield, attacking midfield, which is, I think is his natural position in real life, and centre midfield. Uh, his standout skills, uh, standout stats, uh, is ball control, acceleration and speed, dribbling, 89. Yeah, finishing is not bad either. For a centre forward, you want it to be a bit higher. With the the man, with the manager boost, it'll probably go up to 87, 88. So ideally for a centre forward, you want it to be 90, but it's fine. He, he's got good dribbling stats as well. Decent passing stats. And his player skills, he's got double touch. He's always had double touch. and Well, I think he's always had this double touch in re in past cards we've got soul control 
He doesn't have first time shot. Oh, he does. He does, which is good. He's got first time shot, long range shooting, long range curling. One touch pass gamesmanship. So he's got a lot of good skills there. And he's got a double touch, which I mean, super sub. Which can come in really handy. If he's not going to get in your first team, at least have him on the bench. Bring him on with the, with the double touch dribbling stats speed and acceleration it could be very handy to come on as a sub super sub so there you have it the play of the week of December the 12 2024 let's have a spin with with my free spin <laughs> after uh, completing a couple of games in event mode let's see look I um, let's see uh, the choices again let's go through them again um I would probably want I would I want Griezmann I'll be happy with Griezmann Sancho Musiala but if I get the ruin Milankovic or Mkhitaryan I wouldn't be I wouldn't be unhappy about that. But if I, uh, the players I want to avoid is Isaacson, Donovan Leon, Yoshida, and El Shawari. Okay, let's have that spin. Oh. It's Isaac said. Of course. Of course. Faceless Isaacson. Okay, so thanks for watching. That's it for this week. If, if you're going to spin, who did you get? Comment down below. Who do you want to get if you haven't spun yet? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you again next week. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.